Joining me via Skype is Amy Armstrong. She is a victim of the doctor's attempted video voyeurism. Amy, are you satisfied with the verdict? I'm happy that there was a guilty verdict. Um, I do wish that it was the more serious charge, but I am happy that there at least was a guilty verdict. D did you have any idea what was happening to you? I had no idea at all. It was supposed to be an uneventful Publix trip. Just needed to fill out some paperwork at customer service and grab some lunch. And I felt people staring at me. Oh, I had no idea what was God, going on. Like and how were you notified what had happened? I was not notified until I was leaving the store and I had a police officer approach me. Uh, at that point, the minute, you know, a police officer approaches you, you're kind of alarmed. I pulled out my receipt and I said, look, I paid. And he says, no, uh, were you aware that a man was actually videoing under your skirt oh. in the store? What did you think? I couldn't even process it. Yeah, yeah. It was unbelievable. Yes, ma'am. I'm disgusted, but my question is, how can there even be a question of guilt or innocence when there's witnesses, when the guy says, I do this, this is my compulsion? How can that even go to trial and be something that's debatable? Well, do, do I have the doctor's attorney on the phone? Is that accurate? Is that true? Okay, the doctor's attorney can answer that, hopefully. His name is Scott Richardson. Uh, Scott, we are hearing uh, from our audience here that they're wondering how given that he was sort of caught red-handed, how the sentence ended up where it did? Well, caught red-handed um, is not quite true. The jury didn't believe the idea that he viewed, recorded, or took pictures up skirt of Ms. Armstrong. Well, uh, they didn't prove it, and therefore the jury attempted. came back not guilty on that count. Why doesn't he get assessment and help? Why aren't physician wellness committees really taking the responsibility away from the legal system and getting him what he needs? Well, I'm his criminal defense attorney. Uh, they, did have, they do have a physician's referral network here in Florida. I don't know whether he's availed himself. He can certainly do that going forward. Again, this is just a misdemeanor. And to address the charges themselves, there was a lot of discussion as to whether or not there should even be attempts in the jury instructions. Over my objection, the judge allowed that. Again, the jury clearly found him not guilty on the felony, and as a fallback, they're allowed to convict him on that misdemeanor attempt. Again, there were no pictures, no videos, no recordings. Okay, but he's guilty proven. of attempting to look up a strange woman's skirt and video her, and I think he should have to have a huge sign on the front door of his medical practice saying this is what he does so that women can be warned. I mean, we're talking a lot about this guy and how we feel sorry for him. What about his women? Can you imagine going to a doctor like this? Can you uh, can you imagine? Though, can, can this be something that can be rehabilitated? Yeah. I mean, can yeah, you we get... We don't know what it is yet. Right. Jerry and I were sort of speculating. It, right. it's, but, but my thing is, like, we do a good job as physicians, usually, of, of taking care of ourselves. As soon as somebody even appears to be an outlier behaviorally, we get them into wellness programs, at least in this state, that's what we do. I hope Florida does the same thing. Mm -hmm. And I hope he gets what he needs. But in the meantime, Help. if he does it and he continues to behave in ways that's dangerous mm -hmm. to other people, it's going to be guys the like women Scott. women need to get what they need, which is safety from this guy.